Welcome to Fight Breakdowns with Arrows. In this video, I'm going to break down Naoya Inoue versus Steven Fulton and explain exactly what happened simple enough for any novice to understand. Give that subscribe button a smash and let's get into the video. As the fight began, Inoue adopted the Philly shell, shooting his jab upwards from a lower position. Since Fulton was looking straight towards Inoue, the jab traveled from an angle that was hard for him to detect. And so, even with the high-level defensive skills Fulton possesses, he was not able to completely avoid this jab. Whether shooting the jab from an undetectable angle was the reason Inoue adopted the Philly shell or not, I can't be sure. However, this is one thing I am sure about. Shooting the jab from the Philly shell was an effective strategy against Fulton. In this scene, Fulton throws a jab, but Inoue avoids the punch by moving his head towards the inside and then counters with a jab of his own. Fulton did not see the punch coming. If there was another reason why Inoue decided to adopt the Philly shell, it was because he wanted to attack Fulton's midsection with the jab. Opposed to a high guard, Inoue's lead hand is set in a low position, making it convenient for him to stick the jab to the body. Here, Inoue from the Philly shell guard drops his weight and lands a stiff jab to the body. Naturally, Fulton reacts to being hit, and if you look closely, you can see a small opening in his left guard. Fulton was falling right into Inoue's trap, bringing Fulton's guard and focus down to the body. Then attacking up top was the strategy Inoue had planned. However, Fulton's coach was onto this and provided his boxer with precise instructions. As soon as Fulton received those instructions, Inoue threw a body jab, then a right hand over the top. Being warned, Fulton was ready to defend this attack using his guard. Since the right straight was defended, Inoue changed the pattern of his attacks. He throws a body jab, and then a right uppercut. However, this combination was also stifled by Fulton. Fulton, like Inoue, a boxer with fight IQ and technique, was becoming aware of the attacks to his midsection. And so, he attempted to counter the jab to the body. Here, Inoue throws a body jab. Without lowering his hand, Fulton blocks with his guard. Taking opportunity of Inoue's arm still being extended, Fulton throws a counter right hook. Spectacular timing. However, look at what Inoue does next. Leaning back, and turning his head in the same direction the hook is traveling, avoids the counter while throwing a left hook of his own. Although it was not a damaging punch, it was enough to break Fulton's balance. In this scene, Fulton was the one looking to counter. However, the boxer to land a counter was Naoya Inoue. Being the smart boxer that Fulton is, he decided to take the very same approach and attempted to counter Inoue's counter. Here, Fulton shoots a jab. Inoue avoids the punch, then steps in and fires a jab of his own. Fulton leans back and then counters with a left hook. Once again, Fulton is showing incredible timing. However, Inoue never lets his guard down and never loses his focus. Stopping his forward momentum instantly, then utilizing excellent head movement, avoided Fulton's hook. While avoiding the counters of Fulton, Inoue continued to jab the body, then attack up top with the right. Inoue, while avoiding Fulton's jab, lands his jab to the body, then throws a right hand over the top. However, Fulton was aware of this combination. Bringing his guard up, he was able to deflect this attack and was also defensively responsible in tightening his right guard against the left hook. Fulton is a boxer with excellent defensive technique. At this point, Inoue was in complete control of the match, but was not successful in applying significant damage to his opponent. And so, Inoue changed the patterns of his attacks once again. Inoue lowers his weight, showing as if he was going to attack with a body jab, but then shoots his jab upwards towards the face. Fulton, realizing this was a feint, leaned backwards, avoiding the punch. 
then tightened his guard against further attacks. From here, Inoue throws a right hook, but this was also well defended. Fulton is showcasing impressive defensive skills. However, Inoue's attacks did not end here. While Fulton's focus was up top, Inoue took advantage and attacked downstairs, landing a clean body shot behind the elbows. And of course, Inoue's intentions were not only to hit, but also not be hit, allowing him to completely avoid the counter punches of Fulton. As the fight continued, Inoue continued to attack with various punches in different combinations, making Fulton confused in how and from what to defend himself from. As a result, the tight defense that protected Fulton from Inoue's damaging punches began to show holes. In this scene, Inoue lands a stiff jab to the body. If you take a close look at Fulton's guard, you can see that the right hand is high, but the left is low. Inoue did not leave this small mistake unpunished. Several seconds later, Inoue shot the same jab to the body and then threw a right hand over the top, connecting clean on the chin. Fulton wobbled, but managed to stay on his feet. Inoue quickly closed the distance and smashed his opponent with a thunderous left hook, resulting in Fulton crashing to the canvas. It would not be strange at all if the fight ended here, but Fulton showed why he is a true fighter. He stood back to his feet. Inoue shifted into monster mode, pressing Fulton against the ropes. Inoue threw with bad intentions. Managing to turn from the ropes, Fulton attempted to stall in the clinch. Inoue would not allow this. He created space, landed left body, and continued his onslaught. At this point, without the ropes, Fulton will fall to the mat. Inoue pinned Fulton in the corner and unleashed a barrage of punches. However, Fulton had not given up yet. He defended himself as best as he could and even threw a punch back. Here, Inoue smashes the guard with a powerful right, then landed a left. This right misses its mark, but the left after landed spot on. The referee decided he's seen enough and moves to step in. Simultaneously, Inoue landed one last shot, resulting in Fulton to crumble to the ground. In a match that was considered to be Naoya Inoue's biggest challenge, he showed his all-time best performance, earning himself a dominating knockout victory. Currently being a four-division world champion, how many weight classes do you think Inoue can conquer? Do you think he can be the first three division undisputed champion? Should he be ranked pound for pound number one? Let us know in the comments.